It's time for live high school baseball coverage on KCRV. Sponsors for our broadcast include Farm Credit Services of Southeast Missouri, Nutrient Ag Solutions, Farmers Union Gin, Zenith State Bank, Moss Electric, the Zenith Hornersville School, Delta Auto Parts and Salvage, Citizens for Donnie Brown, the Portageville School District, Green Point Ag of Portageville, First State Bank and Trust, the City of Portageville, Splash of Class Car Wash, Weaver Farms, Sarah Joe Morgan CPA, Kids R Us Daycare, Riddick Farms, Green Pharmacy, the South Pemiscot School District, the Bank of Missouri, the City of Steel, the Pemiscot County Sheriff's Department, BPS Telephone, MFA Oil, Pemiscot County District 2 Commissioner Vaughn Meredith, the Carothersville School District, Carmack Shell and Convenience Store, the City of Carothersville, Baker Implement Company, Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture, and by McDonald's. And now, live high school baseball on KCRV. And welcome everyone to high school baseball here on KCRV. Appreciate you joining us on the live stream on YouTube, KCRV Live. I believe we're also on Classic Hits 105 on KCRV FM today as well as we have a matchup between the Hawkeye Hornets, the home team in this one, and the Zenith Hornersville Lions. So if you're watching our live stream, Hawkeye on the left, Zenith Hornersville on the right. As Coach Dubar and Coach McLean at home plate meeting with our Officiating crew today to go over the ground rules here at Hawkeye. We'll take a quick pregame break, and when we come back, we'll have the start of this one coming up next between Hawkeye and Zenith Hornersville. Stay with us. Hey, this is Daryl Wilcoxon with Wilcoxon's Home Place on the South Bypass in Kennett, Missouri. We're getting new products in every week, and we'd like to help you make your place a show place. Living room suits, recliners, including lift chairs, bedroom suits, mattress sets with adjustable bases, appliances, and TVs. We have several payment options available. Come see us at Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, 901 South Bypass in Kennett, Missouri. A family furniture tradition for over 70 years. Baker Implement Company and Case IH are proud to support area high school athletics. The same way we have supported our customers and the community for 86 years. Visit any of our 13 locations in Southeast Missouri and Northeast Arkansas to experience the power of red and the service and support that has kept customers coming back since 1938. Case IH and Baker Implement Company, supporting our community on the field and in your field. Delicious deals for delicious meals at McDonald's. Get exclusive deals on your McDonald's favorites in the McDonald's app with contactless mobile order and convenient drive through pickup. Join My McDonald's Rewards. Earn points for free food at McDonald's. Download the app today. Your local McDonald's is proud to be part of the community and is happy to support area youth. Everyone at your local McDonald's wishes all the area teams the best of luck. Agriculture is not a fad, and it's not for the faint of heart. Long days become long nights, sacrificing time away from family, even on weekends, just so you can get the crop in and get the crop out. This is your way of life. At Farm Credit Southeast Missouri, we are 100% bought in to your commitment. Because we are customer-owned, it is our mission to be your ag lender, and we intend to be your value-added partner for next year and the long term. Your ag lender will always be there. Farmers Union Gin in Zenith understands it takes hard work and dedication to be successful in farming. No single segment of our economy does more for our standard of living than agriculture. Farmers Union Gin in Zenith would like to take this time to recognize area producers for their commitment and dedication to the industry. Farmers Union Gin in Zenith, serving the boot heel since 1988. Call today, 573-738-2621. 
Farmers Union Gin, proud to support our area youth. For almost 100 years, MFA Oil has put all our energy into energy by being the local fuel, propane, and lubricant solution that consistently delivers for people and businesses in this area. So if you need to keep your truck rolling, your home heated, or your farm equipment running like a well-oiled machine, give us a call because we're a company that's never idle and we're just down the road. MFA Oil. We live where you do. To find the MFA Oil location nearest you, visit MFAOil.com. Welcome back once again to Hawkham as the Hornets, the host for this matchup between the Hawkham Hornets and the Scenic Hornersville Lions. And we do appreciate you tuning in wherever it may be this afternoon. We love to bring you high school baseball here on the radio and on the live video stream. So you can catch it on the radio at Classic Hits 105.1 KCRV FM. And also on YouTube, look up KCRV Live and like and subscribe so you'll get notifications next time we can bring you a high school baseball game. Again, the Hawkham Hornets are the home team looking at the defensive alignment. Bryce McNabb on the mound. And behind the play today will be Sam Jacobs on the infield from left to right. At third will be Kaysen Guiaro. That is my best guess on how to pronounce the last name. Do apologize if I said it wrong. Trey Moody at shortstop. Christian Lewis at second. Over at first base will be Dylan Stevens. Out in the outfield left to right. Bladen Joyner in left. Jackson Pikey out in center field. And over in right, Matt Russell for the Hornets. Batting lineup for the Scenic Hornersville Lions. Leading off will be Spencer Golf. He'll be playing center field. Chase Layden batting second, playing third. Noah Rhodes in the three spot, playing second base today for the Lions. In the cleanup spot will be Maddox Belcher. He'll be pitching for the Lions today. Batting fifth, Jesus Mendoza. He'll be behind the plate for Zenith Hornersville. Batting sixth, Amador Luna over at first. At shortstop, Christian Puki Garza batting in the seven hole. Batting eighth will be Alexis Andrade, the DH today for the right fielder. And batting ninth for the Zenith Hornersville Lions will be Jeremy Johnson playing left field. Right fielder will be Glacian Johnson for Zenith Hornersville. And as always, we appreciate the staff here at Hawkham helping us get set up and making sure we have everything we need. Matt Casper, also head coach Gary Dubar. Appreciate their hospitality here. Thanks to Zenith Hornersville Lions head coach Chris McLean is by the lineup and offered his assistance as well. Spencer Golf steps in and we're ready for the first pitch of this ball game and it's on the way. And it is outside and a little bit low for ball one. Wind is blowing out to left today. So we could see a dinger, who knows. Swing and a miss on that one. And one and one the count. Sun is shining. The temperature is perfect for baseball. Just a little windy out here. This one fouled off to the right side. Spools that baseball. So McNam will get a new one back out there on the mound. Golf back in as the wind gusting behind us here. There's a called strike on the outside corner. And one away. Bring in Chase Layden. Again, Noah Rhodes to follow. Maddox Belcher, if anybody can reach and avoid the double play ball. Layden steps in from the right side like golf before. And the first pitch from McNabb. Foul back to the screen for strike one. Jacobs behind the plate for the Hornets. Flashes a sign to McNabb on the mound. And the 0-1. Way outside, and that goes back to the screen. Count of one and one now. There have been clouds rolling in, so get a little bit of shade and then more sunshine to follow. 1-1 one, one pitch headed home. A little bit low one outside. Ball two. McNabb has been working away, away, away. Only one pitch so far inside. This one goes away, and it's a three ball, one strike count on Layden. Rhodes on deck. 
with a 3-1 pitch headed home. This one's ripped out to left field for a base hit. Filled it clean by the left fielder, and he'll get it back in. And that's a one-out single for Chase Layden. Brings in Noah Rhodes. Second baseman today, seeing at Hornersville. McNabb looks in, checks on the runner, brings it home. And a false start on the steal as he holds up. It's a called strike on the pitch. Coach McLean flashes the sign down at third. Layden back in there ready. Or excuse me, Rhodes back in there ready. This one fouled back to the screen. Got a piece of it. O2 count now, Noah Rhodes steps back in against McNam. Layden leads it first, and the O2 called strike three, running him up, rung him up on the outside corner there. And now two away here, top of the first inning for the Lions. Bring in the cleanup man, Maddox Belcher. He's ready, so is McNabb. Pitch headed home. Outside for ball one. Layton a good lead at first, but staying somewhat close. 1 0 pitch. Runner going. Throw down to second. He is there the same time he is. Layton gets in there safely. Good jump on that one. Now runner at second with two away. You're moving on contact, so you think anything safely to the outfield will score him for sure. 2-0 count on Belcher and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Big cut there as he came up empty. Count a two and one now. Pitch. Swing and a miss on a breaking pitch there. McNabb after falling behind 2-0 now. Evens the count. Two balls, two strikes here. Looking for another strikeout. And to get out of the inning. Way outside. That runs the count full. Jesus Mendoza on deck for the Lions. Belcher can reach. Payoff pitch of this at bat. He is headed home. This one way outside as it bounces in the dirt. Good stop there by Jacobs. Runners at first and second now. And two away, and that will bring in seeing this catcher, Jesus Mendoza. And the wind almost dying for a second here at the ballpark. But it's picking back up, and let's look at the flags out past left field. They are blowing steady over there on the softball field. Mendoza steps in with the RBI opportunity here. Runners at first and second, two away, top of the first inning. First pitch from McNabb. Called strike on the outside corner. McNabb looks in. Jacobs flashes the signs. And the pitch. This one goes high. One ball, one strike now. Mendoza back in. There's the right-handed hurdler McNabb. Come set. And this ball put in play, and it is going to clear the bases here. One run will be in. <clears throat> and actually, they will hold the runner at third base. Thought it was going to clear the bases. It's a courtesy runner out there. But it is a double for the catcher. As he hit it in the left field corner there. Layden comes in to score, and it is second and third now, two away. And seen at the Hornersville, do apologize, I'll get it right in a minute. So we're on the scoreboard here on our live stream too. Seen at the Hornersville takes a one nothing lead. Brings in Amador Luna, first pitch. Inside for ball one.
Courtesy runners number three. This batter calls time. And the pitch outside for ball two. That is Jordan Mariquin as the courtesy runner over at third. Luna back in, 2-0 count. There's a called strike on the outside corner. And we do appreciate you tuning in. If we do cut out or stutter a little bit, just stay with us. We're dealing with cellular connectivity. And it can be tricky. Runner coming in from third, and he will be in safely on the pass ball as it bounced right in front of the plate and went to the backstop. So Mariquin coming in on wild pitch as that was a tough one. Mendoza moves to third. And it's a 3-1 count on Armador Luna. So he steps back in from the right side. Trying to bring his teammate in from third. That one just missing outside. And it's a two-out walk as Luna will try down to first. And that brings in the shortstop, Christian Puki Garza. Luna leads from first. This pitch is low and outside for ball one. And Hornet's going to call a timeout, so we'll take a quick timeout as well as they talk it over on the mound. We'll be back right after this. Moss Electric in Hornersville is a proud supporter of the Zenith Hornersville Lions and wishes them the best of luck in the tournament this week. Moss Electric, providing electric motor sales and service, is family owned and has been serving the area for 45 years. Give them a call at 573-737-2834. Moss Electric on Highway 164 in Hornersville. And welcome back once again to Hawkham as seen at Hornsville. 2 0 lead here, top of the first inning, and still threatening. Runners on the corners, first and third. Two away. And Pookie Cars at the plate, a 1 0 count, and the pitch. There's a called strike at the letters. Count on 1 and 1 now. Courtesy runner at third for the catcher, Mendoza. 1-1 one, one pitch to Garza. This one outside. Luna going down to second this time. He'll make it down there on catcher's, or defensive indifference as they call it. Runners in second and third now. And a 2-1 pitch. This one chopped foul over toward the Hawkham dugout. Kicks back on the field. McNabb will pick it up. Evens the count of two balls and two strikes here. Top of the first two away, runners at second and third. Two nothing lead for the Lions. And the 2-2 pitch. This one flied sky high, out behind third base. Moody, the shortstop going out, and nobody can make the catch as the wind probably played with that one out there. And on the pop fly, Garza will end up at second base. You almost hate to give him a double on that, but that was a tough play for anybody. Two more runs come in, and it's runner at second now with two away. And it is a 4 nothing lead now for Zenith Hornersville here. Andrade steps in, Alexis Andrade. Takes the first pitch for called strike one. Andrade, the eighth hitter in the lineup. Johnson on deck. A one pitch from McNabb. Fouled back to the screen. 0 2 count now. It's McNabb gets the ball from Jacobs. McNabb set. So is Andrade ready in the box and the 0 2. Thought about it, but it held off, and it's a 1 2 count now. And 
And the pitch in the dirt. Jacobs tried to pick it, but it bounces to the backstop. A wide turn for the runner out there. But Garza will stop at third. Jacobs had no choice but try to backhand that one. And goes off the glove. And the 2-2. This one's flied foul down the right side. Count remains two and two. Sun shining here again in Hawkham. Wind still blowing steady out to left. And the pitch called strike three on a delayed call. That's the third out. We'll go to the bottom of the first inning. Seen the horse out front, four to nothing. Let's see what Hawkham can do to answer right after this. Nutrient Egg Solutions in Zenith is the leading area supplier of fertilizers, seed, and crop production products. They are dedicated to helping area farmers grow the best crops possible. The Nutrient Egg Solutions team provides industry-leading analysis, solutions, and advice to help farmers get more from every square inch of their farm. Profit from their experience at Nutrient Ag Solutions, 500 North Main in Zenith, and online at NutrientAgSolutions.com. Nutrient Ag Solutions, a proud supporter of the Zenith Hornersville Lions. Zenith Hornersville School District C8 is committed to the education of all of our students as well as their safety and well-being. It takes all of our departments to make our school great. Teachers, curriculum, technology, transportation, maintenance, custodial, food service, secretarial, administration, as well as other support staff. Along with community support, together we all make Zenith Hornersville School District a great place to work and attend school. Once a lion, always a lion. Best of luck for a successful season from the entire staff. If you need it to get outdoors, call Cena State Bank for a loan. We'll finance a four-wheeler, side-by-side, SUV, camping trailer, a pontoon boat, or pickup truck. It's almost hunting season. Do you know of acreage for sale in the deer woods? We can help you buy hunting land, a cabin in the woods, or a lake house. Take advantage of an off-season deal on a ski boat or riding lawnmower with a Cena State Bank loan. Cena State Bank, Cena Kenneth Arbird, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Welcome back to Hawkham, Missouri. As Hawkham comes up bottom of the first inning, trailing four to nothing against the Cena Hornersville Lions. It will be Sam Jacobs, then Bladen Joyner, Bryce McNabb batting third, Ty Washburn batting in the cleanup spot. Jackson Pikey batting fifth, Trey Moody batting sixth, Christian Lewis batting seventh, Kaysen Guiaro batting eighth, and Matt Russell batting ninth. Offensive alignment four, seen at Hornersville. On the mound will be Maddox Belcher behind the plate, Jesus Mendoza. Over at third, Chase Layden, Christian Puki Garza at short, Noah Rhodes at second, Amador Luna at first, and it is Jeremy Johnson out in left, Spencer Goff in center, and Glacian Johnson out in right. For the Lions. Belcher's ready as Jacob steps in. First pitch goes high and inside for ball one. one -oh pitch. This one sails to the backstop. 2 0 -oh count now. Belcher looks in for the pitch as the one he wants. Sam brings it home. 3-0 and all three of them going high out of the zone here. Belcher trouble finding the zone here against leadoff man Jacobs. 3-0 count and the pitch. This one goes high. Four pitch walk. And Jacobs is on at first. Jacob's the catcher for the Hornets. Looks like he'll be running instead of having a courtesy runner out there. Let's bring in the left-handed swinging joiner. Jacob's the lead at first as Belcher comes set. And the pitch. This one goes high and outside. And Belcher again finding the, or having trouble with the 
Strike Zone. Coach McLean going to go out and talk some things over. We'll take a quick break and be right back after this. Agriculture is not a fad, and it's not for the faint of heart. Long days become long nights, sacrificing time away from family, even on weekends, just so you can get the crop in and get the crop out. This is your way of life. At Farm Credit Southeast Missouri, we are 100% bought in to your commitment. Because we are customer-owned, it is our mission to be your ag lender, and we intend to be your value-added partner for next year and the long term. Your ag lender will always be there. And welcome back. Join her back in there. And Maddox Belcher, a 1-0 count. Pitch goes high and outside. Not as high this time. McLean just trying to settle his pitcher down a little bit out there. Melcher looks in for the sign. 2-0 count on Joyner. And the pitch. This one goes high. Seven in a row now out of the zone. Up. Melcher once again looks in. Come set. The 3-0. There's strike one as he took a little bit off of that one. 3-1 count on Joyner now. He's ready. Jacob's the lead. And this one fly down the left side. And it will drop for a base hit. Again, the wind is going to play with those fly balls like that. Keep them in the air a little longer. And you know, tell them, no telling which way it's going to go until it hits the ground out there. Runners at first and second now. Nobody out. And that brings in Bryce McNabb. Can help his own cause here. Runners at first and second. Belcher comes set. First pitch to McNabb. There's a called strike at the knees. Looks like Belcher may have figured it out here. After the first seven pitches went high out of the zone, now he's come with about three consecutive strikes. This curveball is pulled foul. And 0-2 on McNabb. Belcher comes set, the 0-2. This one hit toward third, and it gets through to the left field. Runner will round third. He will score easily as left fielder picking it up. And I'll come on the board now. Remains first and second. As McNabb does help his cause there. Ground ball single into left field. Jacobs comes in to score. Now Joyner the runner at second. And McNabb the runner at first. And that will bring in Ty Washburn. Cleanup man for the Hornets. Just missing outside for ball one. Melcher looks in for the sign from Mendoza. He's set, and the pitch. There's a call to strike one. Washburn half swung and held up. Washburn's ready. Melcher comes set once again, and the pitch. This one goes high. Ball two, 2-1 two count now. Again, the wind is gusting here in Hawkeye. One pitch, swing and a miss. Big cut there from Washburn. He got that one and might have ended up on the softball field out there. Count even now, two balls and two strikes. Runners at first and second. And curveball is ripped but foul down the line. Nobody out here for Hawkeye, bottom of the first. Plated one, still trail, four to one here. But are threatening. Belcher once again looks in. Takes a deep breath, comes set. And the pitch, swing and a miss. Got him with a fastball there. That is the first out here in the bottom of the first inning. Brings in Jackson Pikey. 
Batting from the right side. Joiner leads from second. McNabb from first. Swing and a miss on the first pitch. And Belcher was missing high the first seven pitches of the ball game. Lead off walk and then a 3-1 count. And then has somewhat found it now. As Pikey couldn't hold up on that one. Now quickly 0-2. Belcher loses the hat to the wind. Calls time to pick it back up, put it on. It's going to happen eventually with the way this wind's blowing. 0-2 count now on Pikey as Belcher looks in. Comes set and brings it. And this one hit off the hands. It will drop. The play will be at first. And a force out there for the second out. Nice play by the second baseman Rhodes there. Does move the runners over. Now second and third with two away here, bottom of the first. And a big RBI opportunity for Trey Moody. Belcher and out of way of getting out of a jam here in the bottom of the first inning. Belcher going to step off now. Now back on there, looks in. Comes set. First pitch to Moody. Ball in the dirt. Good stop there by Mendoza to keep it out front. 1 0 count. Mendoza ready behind the plate once again. Belcher comes set and the 1 0 to Moody. This one called a strike on the inside corner there. One ball, one strike count now. Belcher said once again, doesn't take much time on the mound as this one misses low and away. On deck, Christian Lewis for Hawkham. Do one pitch on the way. This one sails high. Mendoza didn't think he had it there, but caught it in the glove. And a 3-1 count now on the number six hitter, Trey Moody. It's the wind again gusting out to left field here. And the pitch, swing and a miss. Big cut there for Moody, came up empty. And payoff pitch will be on the way. So that runs the count full. First base open, so runners do not have to move here. And the payoff pitch, fouled back to the screen as he got a piece of it. Those are the old school helmet flipped around backwards and the mask pulled down over the front, not the one piece like you see nowadays. Payoff pitch again to Moody. Fouled back to the screen once again. Fire throws a new baseball out on the mounds. And those are retrieves that one. Runners at second and third, two away here, bottom of the first inning. Seen it with four in the top. Hornets with one in the bottom, trying to get more here. Payoff pitch again. Curveball in the dirt. That is ball four. Trying to get him to chase one. It broke over, but just broke over too much. Bases are juice now. Two away. Brings in the number seven hitter. That is Lewis. Belcher set, and the first pitch is high for ball one. Wind picking up big time here at the ballpark again. The 1-0, and this hits the batter, so that will score a run for Hawkham here. Makes it a two-run game as Joyner crosses the plate. Now we'll bring in the number eight hitter, Kaysen Giaro. And if I pronounce the name incorrectly, I do apologize. First pitch from Belcher. Fouled back to the screen. McNabb the runner at third. Moody down at second. Lewis at first. Number eight hitter, Jason Giaro at the plate. Belcher.
pitcher of the 0-1, bringing it home. High for ball one. One ball, one strike count. Mendoza tried to frame it there. But umpire already made up his mind there. 1-1 one, one pitch headed home. He did go on that one. Couldn't check the swing, so swing and a miss. 1-2 count now. On Giaro. Strike away from getting out of a big jam here, bottom of the first inning. Melcher set, and the pitch. This one called strike three at the letters. And that'll do it for Hawkham. We'll go to the top of the second inning. Seen it's coming up. I'll tell you who it is when we come back after this. When you need child care, trust Kids R Us Daycare in Holcomb. For over 17 years, Kids R Us Daycare has been providing a loving and fun atmosphere for your children from babies to toddlers and even big kids. You can trust Kids R Us Daycare in Holcomb. Contact Kids R Us Daycare today for more information about full or part-time care for your kiddos. Call 573-792-3390. That's 792-3390. Kids R Us Daycare on Highway 25 in Holcomb, where your kids can learn, play, and grow. Sarah Jo Morgan, CPA, is dedicated to providing tax services to both businesses and individuals in the Kennett and surrounding areas. Her services are professionally designed to meet your specific needs, from decreasing your tax liabilities to tax problem resolution services, tax planning, and individual and business tax preparation services. Call Sarah Jo Morgan, CPA, 888-4242, or stop by 1091 Commerce Drive in Kennett. Sarah Jo Morgan, CPA, a proud supporter of the Hawkeye Hornets. And welcome back to Hawkeye. We go to the top of the second inning. Senior Thornsville leading this one 4 to 2 as they come up to bat. In the top of the inning, 9 1 and 2 hitters. That's Jeremy Johnson, Spencer Goff, Chase Layden. Do up Noah Rhodes if someone can reach safely. Bryce McNabb back to work. 37 pitches in the first inning. He had a rocky first, giving up four runs there. See if he can get a quick inning here to keep the pitch count down a little bit. First pitch is low, rolls back to the screen for ball one. Both these catchers doing a good job keeping the ball in front, but sometimes it squirts through. This one goes high, and that's ball two, 2-0 two count now. Johnson's first at bat here. Or seen at Hornersville. 2-0 pitch headed home. Swing and a miss. Can catch up to the fastball. He's back in once again. 2-1 pitch from McNabb. This one fouled back to the screen. Now the count even. Two balls and two strikes here. Two two pitch from McNabb to Johnson headed home. Called strike three on the outside corner. That is the first out here in the top of the second inning. Back to the top of the order and Spencer Golf will step in. Went down on strikes his last time up. First pitch is lined to right field, and that will be caught by the right fielder out there. Took a couple of steps in and then made the catch. That is the first out for the lines that has not been recorded by virtue of a strikeout. Russell making the catch out in right field. Two away now for the lines. One pitch, one out there. Fishing at bat, or fishing at bat for McNabb, that is. Chase Layton in, 1-1 one one on the day. Good pitch there on the outside corner for called strike one. Chase single to left his last time up. The 0-1. Swing and a miss on a breaking pitch in the dirt. Knew he chased that one. Now behind on the count, 0-2. <clears throat> Kick 
hits the dirt, takes a couple of deep breaths, and then gets back in there. Nav shakes off three pitches, now has the one he wants, and the 0-2. A little bit low. It was just below the knees, right over the outside part of the plate. One ball, two strike count. Now begins shaking off a few. Now come and set, and the pitch. High for ball two. So that evens count two and two. He's ready to go, and the 2-2. Two -two. That outside for ball three. Oh, broke late. Full count now. So Layton's ready, so is McNabb. Payoff pitch is fouled back to the screen. And the wind picking up in Guston here at the ballpark. Blowing well, in such a way, very difficult to keep it out of the microphone here. But we'll have another payoff pitch from McNabb. Too late, heading home. This one goes high, and Layton wins the at-bat here as he gets the two-out walk. He'll be down at first base. Brings in Noah Rhodes. Noah went down on strikes his last time up, back in the first. It's Layton leads from first. First pitch to Rhodes. That one squirts away from the catcher, but Layton not going anywhere. That one misses outside for ball one. One-0 pitch from McNabb, headed home. That one goes low and inside. 2-0 count. Layden leads from first. Nab checks on the runner and brings it home to Rhodes. Layden leaves, pitches up. The throw is down there, and it's going to get into center field, but the center fielder backing it up. So that'll keep the runner at second. Layton again probably had that base stolen as he got a good jump there. Runner at second now with two away. It is a 3-0 count on Rhodes. And the pitch, this one goes inside, and that's back-to-back -back walks here with two outs. We'll bring in the cleanup man, Maddox Belcher. Maddox reached his last time up. So he walked back in the first. First pitch is swung on and miss. A one count now on Belcher. Runners at first and second. A virtue of back to back walks with two outs here. Top of the second. This one hit off the end of the bat and foul toward the first base dugout. The lines are camped out over there. Now 0-2 on Belcher. McNabb has the pitch he wants and will step off. Looks in once again. He's set. And the 0-2 pitch headed home. Swing and a miss. Got him on the curve ball, and that will do it for the Lions. We'll go to the bottom of the second. Hawkham trailing 4-2 as they come up to bat right after this. Splash of Class Car Wash. This is where you wash your car. Splash of Class Car Wash and Cut. Total state-of-the-art automatic brushless bays. Removing dirt and grime. PDQ. Or use their convenient self-service bays and multiple powerful vacuums. Open 24-7. Give your vehicle the showroom shine it deserves. For the Splash of Class. This is where you wash your car. Forget the rest. This is the best. Splash of Class Car Wash. On First Street next to Sonic and Kenneth. When you think of sweet, delicious watermelons and cantaloupes in the boot heel, only one place comes to mind. Weaver's Farm in Holcomb. Weaver's Farm is family owned and operated and has been providing top quality produce and other row crops for over five decades. They are the melon headquarters for the boot heel. Follow Weaver Farms on Facebook for specials and updates. Weaver's Farm on Highway 25 in Holcomb is proud of all the area youth and loves supporting the Holcomb Hornets. Hey, this is Daryl Wilcoxon with Wilcoxon's Home Place on the South Bypass in Kennett, Missouri. 
We're getting new products in every week and would like to help you make your place a show place. Living room suits, recliners, including lift chairs, bedroom suits, mattress sets with adjustable bases, appliances, and TVs. We have several payment options available. Come see us at Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, 901 South Bypass in Kennett, Missouri. A family furniture tradition for over 70 years. Welcome back once again to Hawkham. Bottom of the second inning. Hawkham coming up, trailing 4-2 to two against the the Horsville Lions. They did, did not allow any runs in the top of the inning, so maintain the two-run deficit there. Be 9-1-2 and two hitters coming up for Hawkham. Matt Russell. Then back to the top of the lineup, Sam Jacobs and Bladen Joyner. Again, the wind is gusting, in case you can't tell from all the wind noise in the mics here. Blowing straight out to left field. Belcher's first pitch goes high to Matt Russell. 35 pitches for Belcher in the first inning. And that's pitch number 37 that goes high. That's how we started off the last inning. Seven consecutive balls. Belcher will hopefully make an adjustment here. Two zero count on the number nine hitter. There's a cold strike on the outside corner. Two on count now. Next pitch. Swing and a miss. Big cut there from Russell. But uh, came up empty. Ball behind 2-0. Now evens the count. Two balls, two strikes here. And the pitch. That one's low and inside. Runs the count full. Three balls and two strikes. Payoff pitch is coming up. On the way. Pops straight up for the catcher Mendoza. He dives for the ball but cannot make the catch. Is Going straight up in the air in foul territory. And the wind holding it up there and actually drifting it toward third. Third baseman coming in, catcher going out. Neither one could get to it. Mendoza had a chance but can come up with it. So Russell stays alive. He'll step back in with a 3-2 count. Our payoff pitch coming home once again right now. And this one fouled into the catcher's mask. It knocks it off. Jacobs picks it up in the on-deck circle. Catchers are tough, though. Even if it hurt, you're never going to know it. Mendoza just picks the mask up, puts it back on, says, let's go. 3-2 pitch once again, headed home to Russell. This one's fouled off to the left side and out of play this time. Bilch gets a new baseball. Get it bad here from Matt Russell. 2-0, then it was 2-2, and then three consecutive foul balls here. Payoff pitch once again. Fouled off once again. Russell battling. Not going to be an easy out here, he says. Never know what can happen. You keep getting a piece of it up there and then put it in play. See what happens afterwards. Belcher ready once again. 3-2 pitch headed home to Russell. This one foul back to the screen. Fifth consecutive foul ball for Russell in the bat. Belcher gets the baseball back from Mendoza. Belcher's ready. And the pitch. This one fouled off once again as Mendoza couldn't hang on to it. It kicks away. Very good at bat here from the number nine hitter for Hawkeye, Matt Russell. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Belcher finally got him, but it took 11 pitches, or excuse me, 12 pitches to do so all together. That's the first out here in the second inning. Good at bat from Russell, though. Was ahead 2-0, then the count went even. 2-2. Two two. 
And it was full three and two, and then six consecutive foul balls. Russell before he swings and misses on the last one. 12 pitch at bat, goodness gracious. Back to the top of the line of Sam Jacobs. Pitch goes in the dirt as he walked his first time up. Four consecutive pitches. Belcher having control issues to start the ball game, but settled in. 1-0 count on Jacobs. And the pitch. There's a called strike. One ball, one strike now. As the wind again gusting. It's blowing steady 20 to 25 easily as this one is ripped out to left field and it's going to get down in front of the left fielder. Almost bounced over his head. But he grabs it on a hop, throws it in. Runner first now with one away. Jacobs runner at first. That'll bring in Leighton Joyner. Joyner singled his first time up. Belcher looks in for the sign, has it, and the pitch. This one squirts away from Mendoza. Jacobs heading down to second now. He'll be in there easily. Runner in second now. One away here, bottom of the second. Joyner looking for hit number two. Belcher checks on the runner at second, brings it home. This one's high for ball two, 2-0 two count now. On deck for Hawkham, Bryce McNabb. There's the pitch from Belcher. That one high, 3-0 count now. Oh, count on Joyner and the pitch. This one in the dirt. Good stop by Mendoza, but that is a four-pitch walk for Blayton Joyner. Brings in the pitcher, Bryce McNabb. And Coach McClain going to go out and talk things over with his pitcher. With runners on first and second. One away here, bottom of the second inning. We'll be back right after this. Baker Implement Company and Case IH are proud to support area high school athletics. The same way we have supported our customers and the community for 86 years. Visit any of our 13 locations in Southeast Missouri and Northeast Arkansas to experience the power of red and the service and support that has kept customers coming back since 1938. Case IH and Baker Implement Company, supporting our community on the field and in your field. Delicious deals for delicious meals at McDonald's. Get exclusive deals on your McDonald's favorites in the McDonald's app with contactless mobile order and convenient drive through pickup. Join My McDonald's Rewards. Earn points for free food at McDonald's. Download the app today. Your local McDonald's is proud to be part of the community and is happy to support area youth. Everyone at your local McDonald's wishes all the area teams the best of luck. Agriculture is not a fad, and it's not for the faint of heart. Long days become long nights, sacrificing time away from family, even on weekends, just so you can get the crop in and get the crop out. This is your way of life. At Farm Credit Southeast Missouri, we are 100% bought in to your commitment. Because we are customer-owned, it is our mission to be your ag lender, and we intend to be your value-added partner for next year and the long term. Your ag lender will always be there. Farmers Union Gin in Zenith understands it takes hard work and dedication to be successful in farming. No single segment of our economy does more for our standard of living than agriculture. Farmers Union Gin in Zenith would like to take this time to recognize area producers for their commitment and dedication to the industry. Farmers Union Gin in Zenith, serving the boot heel since 1988. Call today, 573-738-2621. Farmers Union Gin, proud to support our area youth. Welcome back once again to Hawkham. One out, bottom of the second inning. Runners on first and second. Jacobs the runner at second. Joiner the runner at first. And we have a pitching change for you. Maddox Belcher's day is done on the mound. He will move over to third base. And the new pitcher is Chase Laden. Laden coming in from third to the pitcher's mound. Looks like Chase is ready to go. Laden. 
Rise McNabb will step in first time. Belcher finished 54 pitches, gave up three hits, two runs, both of them earned. He walked three and struck out three. Did hit one batter as well. See what Layden can do in relief for the Lions as they lead this one four to two. Bottom of the second. Layden checks on both runners. Come set. And the first pitch to McNabb. Low for ball one. And the wind blowing out to left field. So if somebody can get into one, it's got a good chance of getting out of here. This one in the dirt, ball two, 2-0 two count now, McNabb. Clean up man, Ty Washburn on deck. Layden comes set. The 2-0 pitch. This one hit towards second. Second baseman will field, go to second for one, to first. And he beats it out at first. Well, they do get the out at second on the force. Almost turned the double play. So a fielder's choice. And Joyner's out. Jacobs the runner at third. McNabb at first with two away. And that brings in Washburn. Struck out his first time up back in the first. Those are flashing the defensive signs. Now Layden steps on the rubber, looks in for the sign. Has it, comes set, and the pitch. That one just missing outside. Mendoza framed it perfectly, but it did miss the plate just a little bit. 1-0 count now on Washburn. There's called strike one. One-one count now. Layton checks on the runner at first. McNabb going. And this one hit towards short. Picked up by the shortstop to throw to first. And that'll do it for the Hornets. They thread but couldn't push a runner across. We go to the top of the third. Cena Hornsville leads it four to two. Back with Who's coming up for Cena Hornersville right after this? For almost 100 years, MFA Oil has put all our energy into energy by being the local fuel, propane, and lubricant solution that consistently delivers for people and businesses in this area. So if you need to keep your truck rolling, your home heated, or your farm equipment running like a well-oiled machine, give us a call because we're a company that's never idle and we're just down the road. MFA Oil. We live where you do. To find the MFA Oil location nearest you, visit mfaoil.com. Moss Electric in Hornersville is a proud supporter of the Zenith Hornersville Lions and wishes them the best of luck in the tournament this week. Moss Electric, providing electric motor sales and service, is family owned and has been serving the area for 45 years. Give them a call at 573 737 2834. Moss Electric on Highway 164 in Hornersville. Nutrient Ag Solutions in Zenith is the leading area supplier of fertilizers, seed, and crop production products. They are dedicated to helping area farmers grow the best crops possible. The Nutrient Ag Solutions team provides industry-leading analysis, solutions, and advice to help farmers get more from every square inch of their farm. Profit from their experience at Nutrient Ag Solutions, 500 North Main in Zenith, and online at NutrientAgSolutions.com. Nutrient Ag Solutions, a proud supporter of the Zenith Hornersville Lions. And welcome back to top of the third inning. Zenith Hornersville leads this one 4-2 to two as they come up to bat. Be the 5, 6, and 7 hitters, Jesus Mendoza, Amador Luna, and Christian Puki Garza. Alexis Andrade. If anyone can reach safely, facing Bryce McNabb for the second time. Back to work for his third inning of work. Starts the inning with 57 pitches. Got two quick outs last inning and then gave up back-to-back -back walks with two outs. Well, that caused the pitch count to go up. As the wind still gusting, as you can hear it in the mic here. And Honkham. 
low and steady, 20 to 25, and gusting probably upwards of 30 every once in a while as we get a pretty strong gust. But a lot of fans for both sides here. Mendoza steps in, McNabb ready, and the first pitch of the third inning. Called strike on the outside corner. McNabb ready. And the pitch. This one pops straight up. And we'll come down in the stands. Thankfully didn't hit anybody over there. On a regular day, that ball probably would have stayed in play, but with the wind blowing like it is, it carried on out of here. Quickly 0-2 on Jesus Mendoza. Nab ready on the mound. Shakes off a couple pitches and brings it home. And this one fired out to right field. Right field to Russum. Backpedaled first, but the wind held that one up. And that gets down for a hit. Lead off man is on here. And the top of the third inning. Do we have a courtesy runner for the catcher over at first? That will be Payne. And it will be Amador Luna stepping in. Payne leads from first. McNabb checks him, brings it home to Luna. Called strike on that one. Tried to check the swing, but don't think he did on that. Commodore steps out. Now back in there. He's ready to go. Nab set on the mound. Payne leads from first. And the pitch squares to Bunt. Bunts it back toward the pitcher. Pitcher will go to first and get the out there. The runner goes to second. Will be a sacrifice Bunt. One three on the put out. Payne down at second now. That brings in Puki Garza. Opportunity for an RBI here. He's one for one on the day. Pitch headed home. This one is ripped toward third, just out of the reach of the third baseman. They're going to wave the runner, and now they catch him in a rundown in between third and home. Jacobs has it. He'll run and he'll tag him. As McLean initially told him to go and then put on the brakes. Yeah, it's the second out. I think McLean thought that was the third out. That may have been why he sent him. But it was a base hit out to left field by Garza. So Payne will be out in the rundown. Garza moves to second on the play. Two away here, top of the third. That brings in Alexis Andrade. Struck out his last time up. This one goes low for ball one. Jacobs looks in for the sign. Garza leads from second. And the pitch. This one's fouled off and out of play. One ball, one strike on Andrade. He steps back in. Garza, a decent lead at second. Two away here, top of the third. This one goes high and tight. Ball two, two one count. Two down here in the top of the inning. Seen at the four to two lead still. That one maybe a little bit high on Andrade. Didn't miss by much. Three one pitch from McNabb. This one goes in the dirt and goes to the backstop. Garza heads over to third. 
Roddy heads down to first. Runners at the corners now with two away. Brings in the number nine hitter, that is Jeremy Johnson. Johnson struck out looking his last time up. Second time facing McNam. Swing and a miss on that one. Spencer Goff on deck. On one from McNabb. Hit it home. Called strike two. Nice pitch there from McNabb. Hit a Johnson now on two. Two away, top of the third. Runners at the corners here for Cena Tornersville. 0-2 pitch, headed home. Swing and a miss. Got him there. That'll do it for Zenith. We'll go to the bottom of the third inning. And it will be Hawkham coming up. I'll tell you who when we come back after the break, right after this. Zenith Hornersville School District C8 is committed to the education of all of our students as well as their safety and well-being. It takes all of our departments to make our school great. Teachers, curriculum, technology, transportation, maintenance, custodial, food service, secretarial, administration, as well as other support staff. Along with community support, together we all make Zenith Hornersville School District a great place to work and attend school. Once a lion, always a lion. Best of luck for a successful season from the entire staff. If you need it to get outdoors, call Cena State Bank for a loan. We'll finance a four-wheeler, side-by-side, SUV, camping trailer, a pontoon boat, or pickup truck. It's almost hunting season. Do you know of acreage for sale in the deer woods? We can help you buy hunting land, a cabin in the woods, or a lake house. Take advantage of an off-season deal on a ski boat or riding lawnmower with a Cena State Bank loan. Cena State Bank, Cena Kenneth Arbird, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Agriculture is not a fad, and it's not for the faint of heart. Long days become long nights, sacrificing time away from family, even on weekends, just so you can get the crop in and get the crop out. This is your way of life. At Farm Credit Southeast Missouri, we are 100% bought in to your commitment. Because we are customer-owned, it is our mission to be your ag lender, and we intend to be your value-added partner for next year and the long term. Your ag lender will always be there. Welcome back. Bottom of the third inning, the home team, Hawkeye Hornets, coming up to bat, trailing 4-2 against the Lions. Both teams with runs in the first inning, and it has been quiet on the run since then. They've had plenty of base runners, but they just have not forced a run across. Five, six, and seven hitters do up for Hawkeye, Pikey, Moody, and Lewis. You are if someone can reach. Chase Layton back to work. Six pitches. So far in relief in two thirds of an inning. Pitching from the wind up this time. First pitch to Pikey. Goes high and outside, ball one. Laden ready, the 1 0 pitch headed home. Swing and a miss. 1 1 count. Pikey over one on the day. Grounded out to second his first time up. Ball in there for cold. Strike two. Good break on that one. One two pitch from Layton. Headed home to Pikey. Called strike three. Rung him up on the hook there. That's out number one here in the bottom of the third inning. First strike out for Layden. Brings in Trey Moody. This one goes in the dirt, goes back to the screen. Moody walked his last time up. One-0 count on Moody, Layden ready and brings it home. Swing and a miss. Big cut became up empty there. One one pitch. Swing and a miss on that one. Laden ahead now one and two on Mr. Moody as he steps back in. And the 
one two pitch at it home. This one is fouled off to the right side. And we'll go out of play. Wind blowing steady. Staying out here long enough and gets a little chilly, even though the sun is shining. Temperature in the lower 70s, upper 60s here. Swing and a miss. Got him there. Back-to-back -back strikeouts and two away for Hawkham here in the bottom of the third inning. Up to Lewis to keep it going. Lewis was hit by a pitch by Belcher his first time up. Wilson goes in the dirt for ball one. Mendoza retrieves it. And now gets back behind home plate. Layton looks in and the 1 0 headed home. Her ball stays up this time. Ball two. Straight away for Lewis in the outfield. 2 0 pitch headed home. This one in the dirt. I think that kicked off the home plate umpire's protective equipment that time. We got through. Three zero count now on Lewis as he steps back in. See if he's taking all the way here on three zero. Pitch from Layton. Called strike on the outside corner. Looks like he was taken all the way. Snaps back in. Waits a 3-1 pitch from Layden. And the pitch. Called strike at the letters this time. The outside part of the plate. Layden trying to come back and get him here. Payoff pitch of this at bat. On the way. Foul back to the screen. And our payoff pitch once again. Layden's on the mound and ready. And the payoff pitch to Lewis once again. This one fouled off to the right side this time. So he's staying alive. Not going to go quietly here. Layden's ready, so is Lewis. Payoff pitch once again. This one goes high, and it's ball four. Two-hour walk. It's a man on in front of Casey Giaro. He's over one on the day. Struck out looking his last time up. Layden now steps up on the mound. Checks on the runner at first. And comes set. Pick off throw to first and back in there safely. Oh. Yarrow back in. Laid and ready. First pitch. Called strike one right down central. Oh, one count. Lane again checks on the runner. Brings it home. Swing and a miss on one in the dirt there. Quickly 0-2 now in Giaro. And two down here, bottom of the third. Runner on first, stay in the pitch. Inside for ball one. One ball, two strike count. And the pitch. Curveball rings him up. It left the bat on the shoulders. That is the 
final out here. Bottom of the third. We'll go to the top of the fourth. Seen with Hornsville leading four to two as they come up to bat right after this. When you need child care, trust Kids R Us Daycare and Holcomb. For over 17 years, Kids R Us Daycare has been providing a loving and fun atmosphere for your children from babies to toddlers and even big kids. You can trust Kids R Us Daycare and Holcomb. Contact Kids R Us Daycare today for more information about full or part-time care for your kiddos. Call 573-792-3390. That's 792-3390. Kids R Us Daycare on Highway 25 in Holcomb, where your kids can learn, play, and grow. Sarah Jo Morgan, CPA, is dedicated to providing tax services to both businesses and individuals in the Kennett and surrounding areas. Her services are professionally designed to meet your specific needs, from decreasing your tax liabilities to tax problem resolution services, tax planning, and individual and business tax preparation services. Call Sarah Jo Morgan, CPA, 888-4242, or stop by 1091 Commerce Drive in Kennett. Sarah Jo Morgan, CPA, a proud supporter of the Holcomb Hornets. Welcome back once again to Holcomb, top of the fourth inning. Seeing the Thornsville coming up, leading this one four to two. And it'll be the top of the lineup. Golf, Layton, and Rhodes coming up. Spencer Golf over two against McNabb as he struck out looking his first time up and lined out to right field his last time up. Hit it on the line, but right at the right fielder, Russell. Facing McNabb for the third time. McNabb starts the inning 71 pitches on the pitch count. First pitch of the fourth. Swung on and missed. Strike one. Off ready. And the pitch. That one stays up and out of the zone. Ball one. One ball, one strike count. Nab shakes off one, now fires it home. There's a called strike at the knees. Might have been a makeup call there for the previous pitch. But one ball, two strike count now as it comes home. This one fouled back to the screen. This golf stays alive. Count remains one ball, two strikes on the leadoff man, Spencer Goff. Top of the fourth inning. One two pitch once again. <clears throat> Takes a hop outside in the opposing batter's box, goes back to the screen. Evens the count, two balls, two strikes, and the pitch headed home. Called strike three on the outside corner there. I think Golf knew it. That'll bring in Chase Layton, one for one on the day. As he is singled and walked. Two appearances against McNabb. Base is empty, one out here, top of the fourth. First pitch to late. Low for ball one. And on deck, Noah Rhodes. Called strike on the outside corner on that one. Late and ready. McNabb ready. 1-1 one, one pitch. He is headed home. This one hit back up the middle, and that'll get through for a base hit into center field as the center fielder gets it back in. Chase Layden, two for two on the day now. The runner in first with one away. Brings in Noah Rhodes. Noah 0 for one. Struck out and walks. Hornets looking for a double play ball to get out of this inning. Layden leads from first, pitch to Rhodes. Goes low and outside, squirts away from the catcher, and he will head down to second. Layden in scoring position out there now. 
As Rhodes steps back in. Waits a 1-0 delivery from McNabb. Called strike on the outside corner that time. At the knees, one ball, one strike. And outfield straight away for all these lines hitters. This one goes high, 2-1 count. Noah back in and ready. Layden takes his lead from second. McNabb brings it home. Fouled this one off the plate into the catcher's mitt. He wins the count, two balls, two strikes. Dab looks in for the sign from Jacobs, has it. And calls time, but then swings and misses as the umpire didn't give it to him. Two away now, runner at second base, and that brings in the cleanup man, Maddox Belcher. 0 for 1 as he walked and struck out his last time up. Facing McNabb for the third time, and the first pitch in the dirt. Bounces off of the catcher Jacobs up the third baseline, and Layden will head over to third. Now. Belcher in there and ready. McNabb ready, the 1-0 pitch headed home. And this one's hit out to left field. Left fielder is tracking it, and it'll get over him. Runner will come in to score from third. Belcher will round second, but he will, I believe, stop there. And that's a two-out double. And another run in for Zenith Hornersville. Belcher got into that one. Layden comes in to score easily. And Belcher now down at second base, and that brings in number five hitter for Zenith Hornersville, Jesus Mendoza. He is two for two on the day. He is double to left and single to right. Third time facing McNabb. And this one hit out to center field. That ball is hit deep, and it's going to get by the center fielder to the fence. Back to back. Base hits here, and Belcher comes in. Mendoza will slide into second with a double. And it's a 6-2 to two lead now for Zenith Horsville. That ball was hit on a line. If it had been hit a little more in the air, who knows where it would have went. If the wind would have caught it. Uh, Mendoza with a great day at the plate. Three for three in the ball game, and an RBI there. Courtesy runner down there for Mendoza. Payne in there once again. Brings in Amador Luna. Amador looking for his first hit of the day. This one a called strike on the outside corner. Luna back in there and ready. Payne leads from second. This one low and inside. And a 1-1 count now. Luna awaits a 1-1 pitch from McNabb. Swing and a miss. Good breaking pitch there from Bryce. Bryce looks in. Comes set. 1-2 pitch to Luna. Back up the middle. Bryce will glove it and run it to first and step on the bag himself for the final out. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth with Zenith getting two more here in the inning as Hawkins will come up trailing now six to two. When they bat after this. Splash of Class Car Wash. This is where you wash your car. Splash of Class Car Wash and Cut. Two state-of-the-art automatic brushless bays. Removing dirt and grime. PDQ. Or use their convenient self-service bays and multiple powerful vacuums. Open 24-7. Give your vehicle the showroom shine it deserves. With a splash of class. This is where you wash your car. Forget the rest. This is the best. Splash of Class Car Wash. On First Street next to Sonic and Kenneth. 
When you think of sweet, delicious watermelons and cantaloupes in the boot heel, only one place comes to mind. Weaver's Farm in Holcomb. Weaver's Farm is family owned and operated and has been providing top quality produce and other row crops for over five decades. They are the melon headquarters for the boot heel. Follow Weaver Farms on Facebook for specials and updates. Weaver's Farm on Highway 25 in Holcomb is proud of all the area youth and loves supporting the Holcomb Hornets. Hey, this is Daryl Wilcoxon with Wilcoxon's Home Place on the South Bypass in Kennett, Missouri. We're getting new products in every week and would like to help you make your place a show place. Living room suits, recliners, including lift chairs, bedroom suits, mattress sets with adjustable bases, appliances, and TVs. We have several payment options available. Come see us at Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, 901 South Bypass in Kennett, Missouri. A family furniture tradition for over 70 years. Welcome back. Top of the, excuse me, bottom of the fourth inning. Pulling double duty here. Forgot to switch our scoreboard around on a live stream. Bottom of the fourth inning. Hawkham coming up as they trail now, six to two. Seen with Hornersville, four runs in the first and two in the fourth. They lead it six to two. As Hawkham, their two runs coming back in the first inning. Nine, one, and two hitters due up. Matt Russell, Sam Jacobs, and Bladen Joiner facing Chase Layden for the first time. First pitch is in the dirt. Four ball one. Russell, an excellent at bat last time up. Struck out, but took 12 pitches in the at bat to do so. He was ahead in the count, two and zero. Oh, then it evened out at two balls, two strikes. Then it went full three and two, and found off six pitches in a row. And then finally struck out on the twelfth one. There's called a strike on that pitch, and it's a one-one count now. The 1-1 one, one headed home. Good curveball there, and that's called a strike two. Grissom steps out, now back in there. Pitch headed home. Misses outside. He hit where Mendoza set up, trying to get Russell to chase one. He was the count two and two. And the pitch fouled off to the right side. Laden ready on the mound. 2 2 pitch headed home. Swing and a miss. Got him with the hook there. First out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Brings us back to the top of the lineup. Sam Jacobs coming in. One for one on the day officially. Walked his first time up on four straight pitches and then singled to left field his last time up. First pitch. Is popped straight up and out of play. Yeah, and thankfully nobody there in the stands where it came down. A couple of foul balls coming back in play. That was a Tracks both of them down. Jacobs back in and ready. Awaits the 0-1 pitch from Layden. Hook in there for a called strike one. Or strike two, that is, on the inside part of the plate. Old Uncle Charlie, as they call it. 0-2 pitch. Headed home. That was outside. Ball one. One two pitch headed home to Jacobs. This one fouled back and out of play. Down remains one and two. Joiner on deck. For the Hornets. One away here, bottom of the fourth inning. One two pitch. 
And this one tap fouls. Good job by Jacobs to stay back and wait on that one. Got a piece of it. Six to two. Seen at Hornersville leads here. Bottom of the fourth inning. Matt Hawkham on a windy, windy Tuesday afternoon. One two pitch headed home. That one just missing outside. Good job by Mendoza to frame it. But just missing. Evens the count, two balls and two strikes. Layton shakes one off, now shakes another, now comes home with it. Swing and a miss, got him there. Two down now, bottom of the fourth inning. Well, that brings in Joyner. Walked his last time up, single to left field. First at bat, back in the first inning. Or that two run inning for the Hornets. Had some base runners and some opportunities, but have not pushed a run across since. First pitch to Joyner from late. He is fouled off to the left side. Layden gets a new baseball out there. Joyner's back in and ready. And the pitch from Layden. Ooh, a called strike on the outside corner there. Mendoza set up there, and that's where he hit it. O2 pitch now on Joyner. Chase Layden trying to go three up, three down here. And the pitch, high for ball one. Bryce McNabb on deck. Layden taking his time getting on the mound. Now he's ready. Joyner ready in the batter's box and the pitch. And this one fouled off to the left side. Always scary here at Hawkins when those foul balls go to the left side, only because there's a little playground area over there as well. Basketball goes in that area, so Just hoping it doesn't hit somebody over there. Join the activities on the grounds. Next pitch, high for ball two. Even as he counted two balls, two strikes. Laden ready, and the pitch. High and tied for ball three. So after getting ahead 0-2, now falling behind 3-2 and two here. Get it bad here from Joyner. Joyner ready once again, so is Layden. Payoff pitch of this at bat. Coming home. Missing outside, and that's a two-out walk. Runner at first with two down, and that'll bring in Bryce McNam. Bryce one for two on the day. He has singled and grounded into a fielder's choice. Beat it out down at first. Tried to turn two. Trying to reach base for the third time today. Laid and set, and the pitch. Hit right back up the middle, and he will reach for the third time. As that goes into center field, center fielder gets it back in. And one pitch and a single up the middle. Two away here, bottom of the fourth. Two on, and the cleanup man. Washburn stepping in. He is 0 for 2. Just struck out and grounded out. Uh, with the wind blowing out, you never know. He can make it a one-run game on one swing right here. Welcome trailing 6-2 to two here, bottom of the fourth. First pitch is swing and a miss on the check swing. Oh, one count now as Washburn steps back in. He thought he checked the swing. Umpire said no, he did not. This one goes high. 
One one count now. Washburn once again back in there and ready. Layton once again looks in. Come set with the one one pitch this time. In the dirt. Good pick there by Mendoza. Two one count on Washburn now. Joiner down at second, McNabb at first, two away, bottom of the fourth. 2-1 pitch from Layden to Washburn. Swing and a miss. Can catch the fastball there. Here was a count, two balls and two strikes now. Layden leans in. Comes set on the mound. 2-2 pitch. In the dirt, gets back to the screen as it goes between the legs. Joiner, I guess, thought that Mendoza caught that one. As he did not take off for third. The runners do not move up and stay at first and second. Two away, but we have a full count now on Washburn. So the runners will be moving on the pitch here with two away. As Layton comes set, payoff pitch. Coming home, ball four as that goes inside. Base is loaded now. Great opportunity here for Hawkins. It'll be Pikey coming in. We're gonna have a timeout taken by Coach McLean and Hosina's Hornersville as they talk things over. We'll take a quick 30 second timeout and be right back. Baker Implement Company and Case IH are proud to support area high school athletics. The same way we have supported our customers and the community for 86 years. Visit any of our 13 locations in Southeast Missouri and Northeast Arkansas to experience the power of red and the service and support that has kept customers coming back since 1938. Case IH and Baker Implement Company, supporting our community on the field and in your field. Bottom of the fourth inning, two away. Bases loaded for the Hawkeye Hornets here. And it will be. Jackson Pikey stepping in. He is 0 for 2 on the day. Have a pitch runner, Angel, for Washburn at first. First pitch from Layden to Pikey. Swing and a miss there. And that is strike one. Hornets a big opportunity here in the bottom of the fourth. Trailing 6 to 2. L1 pitch to Pikey. High for ball one. One ball, one strike. And the next pitch, swing and a miss. One ball, two strike count now on Pikey. Layton has the pitch he wants and brings it home. This one just missing outside. Evens the count now, two balls and two strikes. And the pitch headed home. This one chopped toward third, and it will be foul as Belcher picks it up foul. Heads up play there. Count remains two balls and two strikes. Almost a swinging bunt as it went right up the third baseline and kicked foul. Pikey back in there and ready, laid and ready on the mound. 2-2 two -two pitch headed home. This one is chopped toward first this time. It will be fielded by the pitcher, but they cannot get the out at first. Two runs are going to come in as hustling all the way. And it'll be, I would call it an infield single personally, is dribbled up the first baseline. Picked up by Layton, but couldn't make a play at first. Joyner comes in. McNabb was hustling all the way. He comes in as well. Angel goes down to second, so now it's first and second two away here, bottom of the fourth inning, and it is just a two-run ball game now. Six to four, still in favor of the Lions, but heads up base running by McNabb and comes all the way around to score from second on that play. Brings in Moody 0 for one on the day. First pitch in the dirt. Gets stopped by Mendoza there. Mendoza is going to go out and talk things over with his pitcher out there. Oh. 
Should be 1-0. -oh. He's called it a ball. It should be one ball, zero strikes here. I think he set it backwards. Scoreboard was showing 1-0, -oh, but now showing 0-1. Moody will step back in. Layton looks in. And the pitch. There's a called strike. Should be one ball, one strike here, I believe. Not an 0-2 count. Let's see what happens on our next pitch as the wind gusting here. And time called as the pitch comes in. Right before the pitch comes in. Huge gust of wind coming in right there as the pitch came in as well. And two away, bottom of the fourth inning. Runners at first and second for Hawkham. They played it two, still trail by two, six to four. Pitch headed home to Trey Moody. That one's up and outside, 2-1 the count. Layton looks in for the sign. Runners take their lead. And the 2-1, headed home. That one missing outside, and that is ball three. 3-1 count. All the Lions fans wanting that call. And the pitch from Layton. Called to strike three on that, as it was 0-2 on the Called the first pitch a strike there. That's the third out here in the bottom of the fourth. We go to the top of the fifth with line still out front, but just by two runs now, six to four. Tell you who's coming up after this. Delicious deals for delicious meals at McDonald's. Get exclusive deals on your McDonald's favorites in the McDonald's app with contactless mobile order and convenient drive through pickup. Join my McDonald's rewards. Earn points for free food at McDonald's. Download the app today. Your local McDonald's is proud to be part of the community and is happy to support area youth. Everyone at your local McDonald's wishes all the area teams the best of luck. Agriculture is not a fad, and it's not for the faint of heart. Long days become long nights, sacrificing time away from family, even on weekends, just so you can get the crop in and get the crop out. This is your way of life. At Farm Credit Southeast Missouri, we are 100% bought in to your commitment. Because we are customer-owned, it is our mission to be your ag lender, and we intend to be your value-added partner for next year and the long term. Your ag lender will always be there. Farmers Union Gin in Zenith understands it takes hard work and dedication to be successful in farming. No single segment of our economy does more for our standard of living than agriculture. Farmers Union Gin in Zenith would like to take this time to recognize area producers for their commitment and dedication to the industry. Farmers Union Gin in Zenith, serving the boot heel since 1988. Call today, 573-738-2621. Farmers Union Gin, proud to support our area youth. Welcome back once again. Top of the fifth inning. Cena Thornsville coming up to bat. Leading this one still, but just by two runs now. Six to four. Bottom of the order coming up. Seven, eight, nine hitters. That will be Garza, Andrade, and Johnson. Back to the top of the lineup in golf. Someone can reach. Pookie Garza, two for two on the day as he is doubled on a shallow pop, pop fly to left field. And singled to left field as well. McNabb back to work on the mound. 92 pitches. Start the inning. Takes the first one for called strike one. Go one pitch. Called strike two now. Goes it quickly behind in the count. 0-2. Oh 0-2 oh pitch from McNabb. He is headed home. Swing and a miss on one in the dirt. And it went in the dirt. They will throw down to first. So it will go as a strikeout. It's the first out here in the top of the fifth. And that may be our last batter that McNabb will face. 
Coach Dubar going out on the mound. We will have a pitch and change. I will tell you who is going to be the new pitcher for the Hornets when we come back after this. For almost 100 years, MFA Oil has put all our energy into energy by being the local fuel, propane, and lubricant solution that consistently delivers for people and businesses in this area. So if you need to keep your truck rolling, your home heated, or your farm equipment running like a well-oiled machine, give us a call because we're a company that's never idle and we're just down the road. MFA Oil. We live where you do. To find the MFA Oil location nearest you, visit mfaoil.com. Moss Electric in Hornersville is a proud supporter of the Zenith Hornersville Lions and wishes them the best of luck in the tournament this week. Moss Electric, providing electric motor sales and service, is family owned and has been serving the area for 45 years. Give them a call at 573-737-2834. Moss Electric on Highway 164 in Hornersville. Nutrient Egg Solutions in Zenith is the leading area supplier of fertilizers, seed and crop production products. They are dedicated to helping area farmers grow the best crops possible. The Nutrient Ag Solutions team provides industry-leading analysis, solutions, and advice to help farmers get more from every square inch of their farm. Profit from their experience at Nutrient Ag Solutions, 500 North Main in Zenith, and online at NutrientAgSolutions.com. Nutrient Ag Solutions, a proud supporter of the Zenith Hornersville Lions. Zenith Hornersville School District C8 is committed to the education of all of our students as well as their safety and well-being. It takes all of our departments to make our school great. Teachers, curriculum, technology, transportation, maintenance, custodial, food service, secretarial, administration, as well as other support staff. Along with community support, together we all make Zenith Hornersville School District a great place to work and attend school. Once a lion, always a lion. Best of luck for a successful season from the entire staff. And hey, welcome back once again to Hawkeye. One out here in the top of the fifth inning. Our new pitcher for the Hawkeye Hornets is Trey Moody, formerly the shortstop. He and Bryce McNabb will swap places. McNabb will shift over to short. First pitch for Moody is hit toward third by Andrade. Picked up on the bounce, throw to first. Good pick over there by Stevens, and that'll get the out. One pitch, one out. Yaro to Stevens on the put out. Two away here, top of the fifth. Brings in Jeremy Johnson. 0 for 2 is struck out looking and struck out swinging. Looking for his first hit. First pitch from Moody. Low and outside for ball one. Moody's ready. The 1 0. This one hit toward third. Yarrow filled it clean to throw to first. And got him on a close play at first. And it's three up, three down for the Senior Hornersville Lions. We'll go to the bottom of the fifth with the Hornets coming up. I'll tell you who right after this. If you need it to get outdoors, call Senior State Bank for a loan. We'll finance a four-wheeler, side-by-side, SUV, camping trailer, a pontoon boat, or pickup truck. It's almost hunting season. Do you know of acreage for sale in the deer woods? We can help you buy hunting land, a cabin in the woods, or a lake house. Take advantage of an off-season deal on a ski boat or riding lawnmower with a Cena State Bank loan. Cena State Bank, Zenith Kennett Harbord. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Agriculture is not a fad, and it's not for the faint of heart. Long days become long nights, sacrificing time away from family, even on weekends, just so you can get the crop in and get the crop out. This is your way of life. At Farm Credit Southeast Missouri, we are 100% bought in to your commitment. Because we are customer-owned, it is our mission to be your ag lender, and we intend to be your value-added partner for next year and the long term. Your ag lender will always be there. When you need child care, trust Kids R Us Daycare in Holcomb. For over 17 years, Kids R Us Daycare has been providing a loving and fun atmosphere for your children, from babies to toddlers and even big kids. You can trust Kids R Us Daycare in Holcomb. 
Contact Kids RS Daycare today for more information about full or part-time care for your kiddos. Call 573-792-3390. That's 792-3390. Kids RS Daycare on Highway 25 in Holcomb, where your kids can learn, play, and grow. Welcome back once again. Bottom of the fifth inning now here from Holcomb as the Hornets come up to bat. Trailing 6-4. to four. They have chipped away at that lead just a little bit. Seven, eight, and nine hitters due up for Hawkham. Lewis, Giaro, and Russum. And they'll face Chase Leiden. Chase still in relief. Two and two-thirds inning in relief, that is. 65 pitches to this point for Chase. Leiden ready on the mound. And the first pitch to Lewis, headed home. Outside, ball one. The 1-0 in the dirt goes to the backstop. 2-0 count now. Layton gets a new baseball out there. Two-zero pitch headed home. This one is popped straight up. We'll stay in play. Layton, actually nobody's going to make a play, and it's going to be a race to first. And he's going to beat it out down there. As again, the wind held that up. It looked like it was going to be caught in foul territory, but it ended up. Drifting back into fair territory. And Lewis beats Layden in a race to the bag there. So a crazy way to get an infield single, but he does. And the leadoff man is on here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Mendoza gave chase, and Layden ran over. I think Layden was looking into the sun. It was going to give way to Mendoza, but then it fell in fair territory just by about a foot. Now Lewis leads from first as Giardo steps in, and this one fouled off and out of play off to the right side. Giardo 0 for 2. Been rung up looking both times. Layden checks on Lewis at first and brings it home. Swing and a miss on this one in the dirt. Mendoza a good job keeping from getting to the backstop. And a 2 count now on Giaro. Nobody out here. Bottom of the fifth inning. Runner at first is Lewis. Layden comes set. The 0-2. Just missing outside. One ball, two strike count now. That one there was close enough that uh, I think I would have swung at it on two strikes. And the pitch. There's called strike three. Rung him up with the letters that time. One out now here, bottom of the fifth inning. And McLean will come out. We may have another pitching change here. It's Layton, 72 pitches in relief. He's getting a high five from his catcher, Mendoza. And we will. We'll have another pitching change. We'll take a break and come back and tell you who the new pitcher is right after this. Sarah Jo Morgan, CPA, is dedicated to providing tax services to both businesses and individuals in the Kennett and surrounding areas. Her services are professionally designed to meet your specific needs. From decreasing your tax liabilities to tax problem resolution services, tax planning and individual and business tax preparation services, call Sarah Jo Morgan, CPA, 888-4242 or stop by 1090. Commerce Drive in Kennett. Sarah Jo Morgan, CPA, a proud supporter of the Holcomb Hornets. 
Splash of Glass Car Wash. This is where you wash your car. Splash of Glass Car Wash and Cut. Two state-of-the-art automatic brushless bays. Removing dirt and grime. PDQ. Or use their convenient self-service bays and multiple powerful vacuums. Open 24-7. Give your vehicle the showroom shine it deserves. With a splash of glass. This is where you wash your car. Forget the rest. This is the best. Splash of Glass Car Wash. On First Street next to Sonic and Kenneth. When you think of sweet, delicious watermelons and cantaloupes in the boot heel, only one place comes to mind. Weaver's Farm in Holcomb. Weaver's Farm is family owned and operated and has been providing top quality produce and other row crops for over five decades. They are the melon headquarters for the boot heel. Follow Weaver Farms on Facebook for specials and updates. Weaver's Farm on Highway 25 in Holcomb is proud of all the area youth and loves supporting the Holcomb Hornets. Welcome back once again. Bottom of the fifth inning, one away. Our new pitcher for the Cena Thornsville Lions is Puki Garza. Moves from shortstop to the pitcher's mound. I would assume Layden move over to shortstop. We'll find out for sure here momentarily. Garza taking his final tosses here. Bryce McNabb for the Hornets went four in the third inning. 95 pitches, gave up eight hits, six runs, six of them earned. He walked five, struck out nine. Maddox Belcher, the starter, four. Zenith, one in the third inning, 54 pitches. Gave up three hits, two runs, both of them earned. Walked three, struck out three, and hit one batter. Chase Layden in relief for three innings, 72 pitches, three hits, two runs. Those earned, three walks, seven strikeouts. First pitch from Garza is a bunt. Back to Garza. He'll throw to first for the out. Two away now. The runner moves down to second. And it will bring in the top of the lineup in Sam Jacobs. Jacobs one for two on the day. Two down here, bottom of the fifth. Called strike on the outside corner there. Next pitch from Garza. This one hit back up the middle and that will get down for a base hit. One hop to the center fielder, he bobbles it. The runner will score from second easily. Luna will cut it off and hold the runner at first. But now just a one-run ball game. The RBI for Sam Jacobs on the line drive single out to center field. Lewis moving on contact, scored easily on that. Brings in Leighton Joyner. Singled and walked twice. Reached base all three times he's been up. First pitch. Is popped straight up, but it looks like it's going to get out of play. And it will. Garza gets a new baseball. Joiner back in the batter's box and ready. Garza comes set, brings it home. Swing and a miss, the one that tailed in on him. O2 count now. Scars are not wasting any time. He's wanting him to get back in there so he can fire it in here. Shorter calls time at the plate. Now the O2. That goes high now the zone for ball one. One balls. One ball, two strikes here. Two down. Bottom of the fifth inning. One run is in. Jacobs represents the tying run on first. Welcome trailing six to five. This one fouled out of play. Joiner behind on that pitch. In over near the play area where the kids are on the play equipment over there. Always scary when it goes that way. Wind blowing steady once again out to left field. Garza set the one-two pitch. Hit back toward the mound. Actually, Garza fields it. 
He'll run to first, toss it to Luna, and that'll be the third out. We'll go to the top of the six. Zenith Hornersville huh? clinging to a one-run lead, six to five, as they'll come up after this. Hey, this is Daryl Wilcoxon with Wilcoxon's Home Place on the South Bypass in Kennett, Missouri. We're getting new products in every week and would like to help you make your place a show place. Living room suits, recliners, including lift chairs, bedroom suits, mattress sets with adjustable bases, appliances, and TVs. We have several payment options available. Come see us at Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, 901 South Bypass in Kennett, Missouri. A family furniture tradition for over 70 years. Baker Implement Company and Case IH are proud to support area high school athletics. The same way we have supported our customers and the community for 86 years. Visit any of our 13 locations in Southeast Missouri and Northeast Arkansas to experience the power of red and the service and support that has kept customers coming back since 1938. Case IH and Baker Implement Company, supporting our community on the field and in your field. Delicious deals for delicious meals at McDonald's. Get exclusive deals on your McDonald's favorites in the McDonald's app with contactless mobile order and convenient drive through pickup. Join My McDonald's Rewards. Earn points for free food at McDonald's. Download the app today. Your local McDonald's is proud to be part of the community and is happy to support area youth. Everyone at your local McDonald's wishes all the area teams the best of luck. Welcome back once again. We go to the top of the sixth inning. Again, my scoreboard skills are lacking on this live stream. Just now getting it updated for you if you're watching our live video stream. And the wind is steadily whipping here at the ballpark. As it is everywhere. I'm on my hoodie around my, my head a couple of times here. Top of the sixth inning, it is the top of the lineup due up for Cena Thornersville. Spencer Goff, Chase Layden, and Noah Rhodes. Maddox Belcher, if anyone can reach safely. Trey Moody back to work on the mound for the Hornets. His second inning of work, he has thrown three pitches. Came in with one out in last inning and got two outs on three pitches. Efficient outing there. First pitch to golf is strike one at the knees. Sun shining here at the ballpark, but with the wind blowing like it is, it is a bit chilly. This one goes inside. One one count. Moody's ready on the mound. And the pitch headed home. Swing and a miss. Big cut there. Came up empty. One ball, two strike count on golf. Spencer looking to reach base for the first time today. Over for three. One, two. Tapped foul at the plate as he hangs on. Laden on deck, retrieving that ball back behind the plate. One two pitch once again. This one hit out to right field, and that will get down for a base hit. Spencer Goff reaching for the first time today. We'll bring in Chase Laden. <clears throat> Chase is two for two on the day. He's had a great day at the plate, reached three times. Singled, walked, and singled. Those three at bats. Facing Moody for the first time today. Pitch in the dirt gets to the screen. Golf will take off towards second. He'll be down there safely. Layton's ready once again. Moody set on the mound and the pitch. Inside, ball two. No roads on deck. 
Layden ready once again, 2-0 count. And the pitch, outside and low this time, 3-0. Layton's ready. So is Moody. Comes set and brings it home. Called a strike on the outside corner that time. Moody varying the <coughs> stance on the mound. It's coming from a crouched position. Now we'll come for more of an open position from rubber. And this one goes high and outside for ball four. First two have reached safely here in the top of the sixth for the Lions. Runner the first and second. Noah Rhodes will step in. 0 for 2 on the day, but has reached base on a walk. Trying to reach once again. Seen with Hornsville, 6 to 5 lead here in the 6. Squares to bunt. But pulls it back as the pitch goes high. Once again, the wind blowing steady. Down to left field here as it has picked up considerably. Just in the last few minutes here at Hawkham. 1-0 pitch. Squares to bunt again and does. Up the third baseline this time. Tough play at first and everybody will be safe as he laid the bunt down perfectly. It was a sacrifice bunt, but he actually gets a single out of it. Bases are loaded now. Nobody out. And that brings in the cleanup man. Maddox Belcher, one for two on the day. He's walked, struck out swinging, and doubled to center field. Top of the sixth inning. Zenith leading by one. Swing and a miss. Big curve ball. Drifting off the plate. Couldn't connect with it. Moody's ready on the mound. Belcher in the box. The 0-1. This one tap foul. Melcher and Moody exchanging a smile, friendly smile out there. Battling it out here in the sixth. 0-2 pitch, headed home. Swing and a miss. Drops it, Bud, with third base occupied. He will be out. That will be a strikeout for Moody. First out here in the top of the sixth inning. Brings in Jesus Mendoza. He has had an excellent day at the plate as he is doubled, singled, and doubled in that order. Three for three. See what he can do here against Moody, facing him for the first time. Ray's ready, so is Mendoza. Ripped into left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. One run will be in. They're waving the other runner in. A throw coming into the plate will not be in time. And the runner going to third. Now the runner will go back to first as Mendoza was halfway between, but nobody covering first. And it will be runners at the corners. Two runs are in. It is eight to five, the lead. Or seen at Hornersville. Mendoza coming through once again with a two RBI single out to left field. As Goff and Layden come in. And Rhodes moving to third on the last play. Courtesy runner for Mendoza at first once again is Payne. Stepping in will be Amador Luna. 0 for 1 looking for his first hit. First pitch in the dirt. Bounced right on top of the plate. Into the chest protector. Jacobs kept in front. Payne heading down to second. Runners a second and, excuse me, second and third now with one away. It's the wind gusting once again. Pitch is swung on and missed. Big cut from Luna, but couldn't connect. One 
One ball, one strike now. Rudy looks in and brings it home. And this one flied out to center field. Center fielder will catch it on a bounce. That will score one. Throw comes in. It will be cut off, and Luna's going to head to second, and he'll be in there safely, and the ball gets away. And the run will come in to score. They may have Luna hung up. They will apply the tag, and he will be safe in there at second base. Waiting for all the dust to settle here. So two more runs are in. And Luna will be down at second. And a single up the middle and then advances on the throw. As Rhodes and Payne both come in. Luna out there almost getting hung up in the rundown, but he will be safely at second. And it is a 10-5 to lead for Cena Hornersville, top of the sixth. One out. And at the plate is Pookie Garza. He's two for three on the day. But Coach Dubor out there talking things over with his team on the mound. Garza has doubled, singled, and struck out swing. Showing the sportsmanship as he picks up the helmet, hands it to Jacobs behind the plate. He's starting to go from the windup. up remember he has a runner on base. Now we'll go from the stretch. Luna leads from second. And the wind is whipping here in Holcomb. First pitch to Garza is ripped into left field. That'll get down for a base hit. Joyner will get over and cut it off, but they're going to wave Luna home. Throw coming in is cut off, and Garza will hustle all the way around to second. A single for Garza out to left field. He will advance the second on the throw, and it is 11 to 5 the lead for Cenith Hornersville here. Led 6 to 5 whenever they came up to bat this inning, but it opened it up. Five runs here in the frame. Garza, the runner at second, that brings in Alexis Andrade over two on the day. This goes high for ball one. Moody's putting it in there. They're just putting it in play. All you can do is throw strikes. Let the defense work behind you. This one has bounced up the middle towards short. McNabb will field it, throw to first. That is the second out here in the top of the six. Garza moves over to third. So the ground out moves the runner over. Two down now, runner at third is Garzan. That brings in Jeremy Johnson, 0 for 3 on the day. Facing Moody. Moody steps off as Garza playing mind games down the third baseline. And they're going to call a balk, it looks like. Calling a balk on Moody that will score Garza from third. He said that he came set, and then he moved the hands before he stepped off. So now bases are empty, two down, and Jeremy Johnson up there. Swing and a miss on the first pitch. Oh, one pitch on the way for Moody. That one low and inside. One ball, one strike. Thinking Johnson swung on that one. I think he just dropped the bat to get out of the way. One one pitch from Moody. This one misses outside. Two one count now. Spencer Goff on deck for the Lions. Two one pitch from Moody to Johnson. Called strike three on the outside corner. 
Home plate umpire rung him up on strike two there, so that evens the count. Two balls and two strikes. I'm with you, home. I'm ready to get out of this win, too. 2-2 two -two pitch, headed home. There's strike three as he swung and missed on that one, so had the right call just to pitch ahead. And we'll go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Hawkeye coming up now, trailing 12 to 5 against Senior Hornersville Lions. We'll tell you who's up. Actually, it's going to be McNabb. Washburn and Pocky coming up after this. Agriculture is not a fad, and it's not for the faint of heart. Long days become long nights, sacrificing time away from family, even on weekends, just so you can get the crop in and get the crop out. This is your way of life. At Farm Credit Southeast Missouri, we are 100% bought in to your commitment. Because we are customer-owned, it is our mission to be your ag lender, and we intend to be your value-added partner for next year and the long term. Your ag lender will always Farmers Union Gin in Zenith understands it takes hard work and dedication to be successful in farming. No single segment of our economy does more for our standard of living than agriculture. Farmers Union Gin in Zenith would like to take this time to recognize area producers for their commitment and dedication to the industry. Farmers Union Gin in Zenith, serving the boot heel since 1988. Call today, 573-738-2621. Farmers Union Gin, proud to support our area youth. Welcome back once again. Bottom of the sixth inning. Will be the Hawkeye Hornets coming up, trailing 12 to five. Six run inning four. Seen in Hornersville on top of the sixth. We look at the line score: 12, 13 and 0 for Seen at Hornersville. 5, 7 and 0 for Hawkeye. Of course, that unofficially. Pookie Garza back to work. Eight pitches. Last inning. Two-thirds of an inning work. He's on in relief. I would assume he will finish it out here. Unless he runs into some trouble. Bryce McNabb, two for three on the day. Steps in. Base Garza. Swing and a miss on the first pitch. Breaking pitch off the plate there. McNabb back in there and ready. Next one goes high and tight for ball one. One ball, one strike. And this one fouled off to the right side. One ball and two strikes. The sun's slowly going down behind us, so give us more shade, so a little cooler out here. As the sun goes down, swing and a miss as that one goes in the dirt. Good pick by Mendoza, and he applies the tag. That is the first out here, bottom of the sixth. Back in again is Washburn. Washburn 0 for 2. Struck out, grounded out, and walked. Facing guards up for the first time. First pitch. Swing and a miss as he did go around. Good breaking pitch there from Garza. This one pops straight up on the infield. Garza will camp under it and make the catch. So two away now here in bottom of the sixth inning. Straight up, so hard sometimes to judge, especially with the wind blowing like it is. I think the dugout giving Garza a hard time out there, but makes the play. First pitch is a called strike on the outside corner. Jackson Pikey, one for three on the day. Swing and a miss on the second pitch. And the pitch in the dirt, ball one. One ball, two strikes. One, two pitches, strike three at the knees. 
That's the third out here in the bottom of the sixth. We go to the top of the seventh with Zenith Hornersville coming up. Leading this one 12 to 5. We'll be back right after this. For almost 100 years, MFA Oil has put all our energy into energy by being the local fuel, propane, and lubricant solution that consistently delivers for people and businesses in this area. So if you need to keep your truck rolling, your home heated, or your farm equipment running like a well-oiled machine, give us a call because we're a company that's never idle and we're just down the road. MFA Oil. We live where you do. To find the MFA Oil location nearest you, visit mfaoil.com. Moss Electric in Hornersville is a proud supporter of the Zenith Hornersville Lions and wishes them the best of luck in the tournament this week. Moss Electric, providing electric motor sales and service, is family owned and has been serving the area for 45 years. Give them a call at 573-737-2834. Moss Electric on Highway 164 in Hornersville. Nutrien Ag Solutions in Zenith is the leading area supplier of fertilizers, seed and crop production products. They are dedicated to helping area farmers grow the best crops possible. The Nutrien Ag Solutions team provides industry-leading analysis, solutions and advice to help farmers get more from every square inch of their farm. Profit from their experience at Nutrien Ag Solutions, 500 North Main in Zenith and online at NutrienAgSolutions.com. Nutrien Ag Solutions, a proud supporter of the Zenith Hornersville Lions. Zenith Hornersville School District C8 is committed to the education of all of our students as well as their safety and well-being. It takes all of our departments to make our school great. Teachers, curriculum, technology, transportation, maintenance, custodial, food service, secretarial, administration, as well as other support staff. Along with community support, together we all make Zenith Hornersville School District a great place to work and attend school. Once a lion, always a lion. Best of luck for a successful season from the entire staff. And welcome back. We are in the top of the seventh inning. Zenith Hornersville coming up to bat. Top of the order, Golf, Layden, and Rhodes as they lead this one 12 to 5. Trying to finish it out here. Hold Hawkham and get out of Hawkham here with the win. Be back on the air with you Thursday. 4.30 schedule start from South Pemiscot or down at Steele. As seen at Hornersville once again will be in action. First pitch goes high. It's ball one. So all you seen at Hornersville fans can't make it to the game. Be sure to tune in right here. 1-0 pitch. He is chopped fouls. We do have a new pitcher for the Hawkeye Hornets, Sam Jacobs, who has been catching. He takes over on the mound. Bryce McNabb shifts behind the plate. Trey Moody goes back to short. 1-1 one, one count on Spencer Goff as he steps back in. Spencer one for four on the day. 1-1 one, one pitch. Way outside, ball two. Off's ready, so is Jacobs. The 2 1 pitch headed home. High for ball three. Three and one. And if you are looking for our scheduled broadcast here on KCRV, you can go to the 1370 KCRV Facebook page. Also, the KTMO The Wolf Facebook page. We have our calendar of games. We will bring you the broadcast up, both on the live video stream and the radio. You can find them there. But again, our next matchup or our next game will be Zenith Hornersville in action once again on Thursday. They so will take on South Pemiscot Bulldogs at Steele. So on the road once again. Layden comes in. First pitch goes in the dirt for ball one. Layden in there and ready. As golf leads from first, and the pitch, a little bit high for ball two. Breaking pitch didn't break. Two zero count on Layton. Golf leads from first, the pitch. As this one's popped up on the infield, golf. He is now going to have to run a second as he was caught in between. The throw will go into center field and get by the center fielder. 
So golf will come all the way around. The ball going to the fence. They're going to wave Layden around. He will come in and he will score. <laughs> and it looks like two runs are going to score here. I was waiting to see if there was a infield fly called on that as well. As one of the fans here saying, but what should have been a an out now. Brings two runs in on the throwing air. It's now 14 to five. Nobody out. And it is a one ball, one strike count. On no roads. He's one for three. So it took me a second to catch up on my scoring here. One one pitch from Jacobs. As this one's ripped foul to the left side, lands on top of the batting cage down there. One ball, two strike count now. On no roads. Pitch from Jacobs. This one's hit into left field for a base hit. Actually going to get, thought it was going to get by the left fielder, but it will be picked up by Joyner. Gets it back in. Good effort there by Moody at short, trying to get that one. Runner first now with nobody out. It's Maddox Belcher. Maddox one for three on the day. Rhodes leads from first. In the dirt, good stop there on the backhand pick by McNabb. That goes way outside. Jacobs looks in, checks on the runner at first, and we'll bring it home. Goes inside, almost catches Belcher. He gets out of the way. 2-0 count now. Pitch from Jacobs. Is it right back up the middle? And that'll get through into center field. Rhodes will hold at second as the throw comes in. Runners at first and second now. Still nobody out here top of the seventh inning. Seen it, the nine-run lead, 14-5, to five, and the biggest stick of the day. Coming up is Jesus Mendoza. Four for four on the day for Mendoza. He's got two singles, two doubles, and four RBIs for Zenith Hornersville. And it's going position at second out there. First pitch, chopped towards short, and will take a bad hop on Moody. Is that will get out there, and now they're going to hold Rhodes at third as he tripped to rode his ankle on the base as he came around very gingerly on the turn. And Mendoza is single on that as it took a bad hop. Courtesy runner at first is Payne for Mendoza over there. Brings in Amador Luna, one for two officially on the day. Jacobs now with bases loaded. Nobody out here, top of the seven. And this one hit out of play. A one count on Luna. Jacobs looks in. And the pitch. Inside, ball one. One ball, one strike on Luna. He steps back in. And the pitch. That one inside, ball two. And just tuning in, top of the seventh inning, nobody out. Bases are loaded. Next 
pitch. Called strike at the knees. Outside part of the plate, evens the count at two and two. Score update for you from Greenville. Kennett and Greenville tied at two in the 13th inning in that one. Perry Jones with a call on that. Over on our sister station, KTMO Live. And Amador Luna goes down on strikes for the first out. So he couldn't check the swing. Brings in Pookie Garza. He's not had a bad day at the plate either. Three for four on the day. Two singles and a double. Garza, three RBIs on the day as he takes the first pitch for ball one. one 0 from Jacobs. Called strike at the letters. One ball, one strike. Jacobs looks in as runners take their lead. Framing job by McNabb. He wanted that call, but just a little bit off the plate. Two balls and one strike now. And the pitch headed home. This one has popped up on the left side. Looks like it will stay in play and it will be down. Moody will score. As again, the wind playing with these balls when they're popped up in the air like that. So it's officially a single out to left field. Rhodes comes in to score. Garza with the RBI and then brings in Alexis Andrade. I believe they call him Yachty. Base is juiced. He is 0 for 3 on the day. This pitch goes high and inside for ball one. Well, no pitch from Jacob on the way. Called strike one. Wind again picking up and gusting here in Hawkeye. It has not laid very much at all today. Next pitch, high for ball two. Two on count. One out here, top of the seventh. Bases juiced for the Lions. This one misses low. Three one count. Runners lead from each base. And the pitch goes high. That is ball four. Uh, that'll walk in Belcher from third. Another run here in the inning, and I believe we're going to have another pitching change. Coach Dubar heads out to the mound. And maybe not. I think he's just going to go have a mound visit out here. We'll keep it here for the time being. Seems it jumped out on top in the first inning. Four runs in the top of the first. Hawkham two in the bottom of the inning. And it was scoreless for a couple of innings. But then in the fourth, they each plated two. It was six to two at that point. Or excuse me, six to four at that point. Then in the fifth inning, Hawkham got one, but six runs in the sixth. That made it 12 to 5. Now two runs, or excuse me, four runs in here in the top of the seventh, and it is 16 to 5 in favor of Cena Hornersville here. First pitch. It was a called strike. There's a called strike for sure. That is strike two on Johnson. Johnson 0 for 4 as he steps in for the fifth time today. Behind the count 0 and 2. And the pitch in the dirt. Good stop by McNabb there to keep it in front. Johnson has struck out three times, grounded out once. One out here, top of the seventh. Base is loaded. Facing Jacobs for the first time. Behind in the count now, one and two. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Got a much needed strike out there for the second out here in the seventh. Back to the top of the lineup, Spencer Goff. It's like batted around here in the seventh. So he led off the inning. A 
Wind blowing straight out to, almost straight out to center field now. This one is right at the letters for called strike one. Golf back in there. Jacobs ready on the mound. And the pitch. A little bit low. Good job by McNabb to try to frame it. 1-1 one, one count now. Jacob shakes one off. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch. Outside as it tailed off the plate. Two balls and one strike. Two one pitch headed home. And this one hit towards short, slow roller. Picked up the throw to first by Moody, and it's offline. That'll score two more. And runners at second and third now. As golf heads down to second on the air. Moody on the throw. It was wide. So Payne and Garza come in on draw day. And golf move up. And it brings in late. First pitch is a called strike on a curveball. Two down here in the seventh. As Zenith has opened it up. 18 to 5 the lead. Oh, one pitch from Jacobs. He is popped up and out of play. 0-2 count now on Chase Layden. He's three for three on the day as well. Not had a bad day there. Reached base five times as he's singled three times and walked twice. 0-2 pitch from Jacobs. Just missing outside on the breaking pitch. And the 1-2. Way outside, comes to the backstop, no runner. Evens the count at two balls, two strikes. Jacobs back on the mound, and we'll bring the 2-2 pitch to the plate. And this one hit back up the middle, and that will get through for a base hit. One run is in. They're going to wave the runner in from second, and that is a two-run single for Mr. Chase Layden as he hits it back up the middle. Makes it 20-5 to five the lead now. Layden the runner at first now, two away. And that brings in no roads. He's two for four on the day. Now Dubar, Dubar will make a pitching change. Looks like our new pitcher will be Yarrow. So we'll take a timeout while they make a pitching change, and we'll be back right after this. If you need it to get outdoors, call Cena State Bank for a loan. We'll finance a four-wheeler, side-by-side, SUV, camping trailer, a pontoon boat, or pickup truck. It's almost hunting season. Do you know of acreage for sale in the deer woods? We can help you buy hunting land, a cabin in the woods, or a lake house. Take advantage of an off-season deal on a ski boat or riding lawnmower with a Cena State Bank loan. Cena State Bank, Cena Kenneth Arbird, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Agriculture is not a fad, and it's not for the faint of heart. Long days become long nights, sacrificing time away from family, even on weekends, just so you can get the crop in and get the crop out. This is your way of life. At Farm Credit Southeast Missouri, we are 100% bought in to your commitment. Because we are customer-owned, it is our mission to be your ag lender, and we intend to be your value-added partner for next year and the long term. Your ag lender will always be there. When you need child care, trust Kids R Us Daycare in Holcomb. For over 17 years, Kids R Us Daycare has been providing a loving and fun atmosphere for your children from babies to toddlers and even big kids. You can trust Kids R Us Daycare in Holcomb. Contact Kids R Us Daycare today for more information about full or part-time care for your kiddos. Call 573-792-3390. That's 792-3390. Kids R Us Daycare on Highway 25 in Holcomb, where your kids can learn, play, and grow. 
Sarah Jo Morgan, CPA, is dedicated to providing tax services to both businesses and individuals in the Kennett and surrounding areas. Her services are professionally designed to meet your specific needs, from decreasing your tax liabilities to tax problem resolution services, tax planning, and individual and business tax preparation services. Call Sarah Jo Morgan, CPA, 888-4242, or stop by 1091 Commerce Drive in Kennett. Sarah Jo Morgan, CPA, a proud supporter of the Holcomb Hornets. Splash of glass car wash. This is where you wash your car. Splash of glass car wash and cut. Two state of the art automatic brushless bays. Removing dirt and grime. PDQ. Or use their convenient self service bays and multiple powerful vacuums. Open 24 7. Give your vehicle the showroom shine it deserves. With a splash of glass. This is where you wash your car. Forget the rest. This is the best. Splash of glass car wash. On First Street next to Sonic and Kenneth. And pitching change action underway before we came back from break. And player hit by the pitch. And then a base hit out to left field by Belcher as he hit a double out to left field. Scores Layton from second. Rhodes goes to third. And that brings in Andrade as this one hits. Oh, check that. That's a... We have a pinch hitter for the catcher Mendoza. That was Luna coming in. He's hit by the pitch on the first pitch. So bases are loaded now. With two away here in the top of the seventh. Another pinch hitter coming in. Is number seven on my roster, which I do not have. That is Hunter Mitchell into the ball game. First pitch is the ball. As Giaro, the relief pitcher, in for Hawkham. Two balls and no strikes on Mitchell. In two away here, top of the seventh. 21 to 5, the lead for Seamus Hornersville. Bases loaded. This one goes outside for ball three. 3 0 count now. Actually, a 2 1 count. Swing and a miss. Big cut there for Mitchell. Came up empty. And it evens the count at 2 and 2. And the 2-2. Two -two. And this one is fouled back and out of play. That ball was way high, but somehow he made contact with it. Stays 2-2. Two and two. And the pitch headed home. Out off to the left side this time. Actually hits the wooden pole for the lights, comes back on the field. Yarrow ready, Mitchell ready, and the 2 2 pitch headed home. Swing and a miss. Got him with that one. That is the third out here, top of the seventh. Final three outs for Hawkham as they trail big time. 21 to 5 to Zenith. They're coming up after this. We'll be back. When you think of sweet, delicious watermelons and cantaloupes in the boot heel, only one place comes to mind Weaver's Farm in Holcomb. Weaver's Farm is family owned and operated and has been providing top quality produce and other row crops for over five decades. They are the melon headquarters for the boot heel. Follow Weaver Farms on Facebook for specials and updates. Weaver's Farm on Highway 25 in Holcomb is proud of all the area youth and loves supporting the Holcomb Hornets. Hey, this is Daryl Wilcoxon with Wilcoxon's Home Place on the South Bypass in Kennett, Missouri. 
We're getting new products in every week and would like to help you make your place a show place. Living room suits, recliners, including lift chairs, bedroom suits, mattress sets with adjustable bases, appliances, and TVs. We have several payment options available. Come see us at Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, 901 South Bypass in Kennett, Missouri. A family furniture tradition for over 70 years. Hey, this is Daryl Wilcoxon with Wilcoxon's Home Place on the South Bypass in Kennett, Missouri. We're getting new products in every week and would like to help you make your place a show place. Living room suits, recliners, including lift chairs, bedroom suits, mattress sets with adjustable bases, appliances, and TVs. We have several payment options available. Come see us at Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, 901 South Bypass in Kennett, Missouri. A family furniture tradition for over 70 years. And welcome back once again. Bottom of the seventh inning. Garza back to work. On the mound. And the first pitch to our pinch hitter, Angel, is strike one. And one pitch goes outside for ball one. One ball, one strike. Sun going down behind us, and it is chilly here at the ballpark. This one fouled off to the right side. One ball, two strikes on the pitch hitter, Angel. And the pitch from Pookie Garza. Called strike three on the breaking pitch. One away here, bottom of the seventh. Bring another pitch hitter. This is Russum. First pitch to Russum. Inside for ball one. <clears throat> this is Cooper Russum. That was Brett Angel, previous hitter. 1 0. He is fouled off to the right side. Another batter on deck. Pinch hitter on deck, that is. There's a call strike two to Cooper Russell and Cooper Cook is on deck. One two pitch. Called strike three. Two down now here, bottom of the seventh inning. Lines one out away here from the victory. That's Cooper Cook. Steps in. First pitch. Called strike at the knees. The 0 1. Swing and a miss. Strike two. And the 0-2 pitch, strike three. And that's the third out here in the inning, and that'll do it. Cena Tornersville will come away with a victory 21-5. We'll take a quick break, come back and wrap it up here from Hawkham in this one. Stay with us. Baker Implement Company and Case IH are proud to support area high school athletics. The same way we have supported our customers and the community for 86 years. Visit any of our 13 locations in Southeast Missouri and Northeast Arkansas to experience the power of red and the service and support that has kept customers coming back since 1938. Case IH and Baker Implement Company, supporting our community on the field and in your field. Delicious deals for delicious meals at McDonald's. Get exclusive deals on your McDonald's favorites in the McDonald's app with contactless mobile order and convenient drive through pickup. Join My McDonald's Rewards. Earn points for free food at McDonald's. Download the app today. Your local McDonald's is proud to be part of the community and is happy to support area youth. Everyone at your local McDonald's wishes all the area teams the best of luck. We go final here with Cena Thornsville coming away with a 21-5 victory. It was close all the way up until the sixth inning as they led 6-5 to five going into the sixth. They played it six in that inning. Made it 12-5 to five and then nine in the seventh. Come away with the victory 
21 to 5, 21 20 and 0, the unofficial line score for Scenic Hornersville, 5 7 and 2, the unofficial line score for Hawkham. Looking at the batting stats for Hawkham, Sam Jacobs, 2 for 3 with an RBI. Bryce McNabb, 2 for 4 with an RBI. Pikey, 1 for 4 with 2 RBIs. And Lewis, 1 for 1 with an RBI for the Hornets. For the Zenith Hornersville Lions, it was Chase Layden, 4 for 4 on the day, scored 5 runs. And he also had 2 RBIs. Maddox Belcher, 3 for 5 on the day with 2 RBIs. Amador Luna, 1 for 4 on the day with 2 RBIs. Pookie Garza, 4 for 5 on the day with 4 RBIs. But Jesus Mendoza, 5 for 5 on the day, 4 RBIs for the Lions. Maddox Belcher went 1 and a third, gave up 3 hits, 2 runs, 2 of them earned, walked 3 and struck out 3 for the Lions. Chase Layden in relief, 3 innings, gave up 3 hits, 3 runs. All of those earned as he walked 3 and struck out 7. And Garza, 2 and 2 thirds innings in relief, gave up 1 hit and struck out 5. For the Hornets, Bryce McNabb with the start, went four and a third, gave up eight hits, six runs, five walks, nine strikeouts, Moody in relief, one and two-thirds innings. He gave up five hits, six runs, two strikeouts. Sam Jacobs in relief, two, two-thirds of an inning. He gave up nine runs on six hits and had two strikeouts. And Giaro closed it out for them, going a third of an inning, gave up one hit and struck out one in the loss for Hawkham. So again, Cena Hornersville the win, 21-5 over Hawkham here. Our next broadcast will be Thursday as we'll have Cena Hornersville in action again at Steeles. They'll take on South Pemiscott and the Bulldogs there as they'll host the Lions. So be sure to tune in on Thursday if you can't make it to the game. 4.30 scheduled start right here on YouTube, KCRV Live, also on the radio, KCRV FM 105.1. Thanks to all of our sponsors making it possible to bring you High School Baseball on KCRV this season. Thanks to you for tuning in. Thanks to Monty Lyons running things back at the station. Tad Jones on the tech side of things. Paul Glass for Pollock Broadcasting and KCRV. Everyone have a good night. This has been live high school baseball coverage on KCRV. Sponsors for our broadcast include Farm Credit Services of Southeast Missouri. Nutrient Ag Solutions, Farmers Union Gin, Zenith State Bank, Moss Electric, the Zenith Hornersville School, Delta Auto Parts and Salvage, Citizens for Donnie Brown, the Portageville School District, Green Point Ag of Portageville, First State Bank and Trust, the City of Portageville, Splash of Class Car Wash, Weaver Farms, Sarah Jo Morgan, CPA, Kids R Us Daycare, Riddick Farms, Green Pharmacy, the South Pemiscot School District, the Bank of Missouri, the City of Steel, the Pemiscot County Sheriff's Department, BPS Telephone, MFA Oil, Pemiscott County District 2 Commissioner Vaughn Meredith, the Carothersville School District, Carmack Shell and Convenience Store, the City of Carothersville, Baker Implement Company, Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture, and by McDonald's. This broadcast has been a production of Pollock Broadcasting Company.